A Palm Springs resident has touched the lives of dozens of homeless folks here in the Coachella Valley. He volunteers at several organizations and others who work with him say he serves people with both kindness and compassion. News Channel 3's Tori King has the story. It's wonderful that they can come here and we can help them to, and we try to provide a warm, accepting environment where everybody is welcome. Doug Ostike is a longtime volunteer for several organizations around the Coachella Valley. One of them is the feeding program at the United Methodist Church of Palm Springs, which helps feed unsheltered folks twice a week. It's very heartwarming. It's, it's wonderful to be here to be able to help. Um, anyone, everyone is welcome. They're not all homeless. Uh, anybody in the community is welcome. We never say no. Um, we don't care if you walk here or drive a fancy car or take a bike. Um, everyone is welcome. He says giving back to the homeless provides them with hope and a sense of belonging and fills him with a sense of purpose. I would hope that they felt the, the care and kindness and love that we want to give to everyone who comes here. Other volunteers who serve with Doug say he gives with no reservations. He's here all the time, so everybody knows him. But he's just, um, he's wonderful. He's just, he's a saint. He's one of those angels on earth. Doug also volunteers weekly for organizations like Well in the Desert and the Desert Aid Project. The Desert AIDS Project continues to grow and expand in our community and we are very fortunate to have such an outstanding organization that now is going into eye care, and dental care, um, counseling, um, helping the total person. He also helps out at the Palm Springs International Film Festival every year and is a dedicated fan to the Palm Springs Power Baseball team. Although he has a packed schedule, serving people is something Doug never gets tired of. I, I don't feel like I get burned out because I love to do this, so this doesn't, this doesn't burn me out or wear me out because I love to do it. It's, it's, it's a part of who I am, a part of my DNA, if you will. When asked how he would feel if someone said he was a hero, Doug replied, Well, I would be very flattered and humbled because I don't see myself as a hero. I just see myself as an ordinary person who's trying to make a difference in the world, who's trying to make the world a better place. He's a hero. He, he's um, the first one here, last to leave. Um, people just assume that he's on the payroll, and he is not. He is a, a volunteer. In Palm Springs, Tori King, News Channel 3. If you know about any neighborhood heroes that you'd like to nominate, you can head to our website, KESQ.com, and fill out a submission form there.